Hi, class. Today we will discuss about the circular convolutions. This is one of the examples of the circular convolutions that we're using the method circular shift method. So for this question, given an xn with 1, 2, 4, 0, and the origin as 1, and hn equals to 1, 2, 0, 0, origin at 1. Now we would like to find the convolution output yn equals to xn convolution with hn. So from here, we have the solutions in terms of calculations. In order to calculate the circular convolutions, we were using this general formula. yn equals to summation from our n equals to 0. Big N is our total number of our uh, sample of the signal, minus 1. x1n multiplied with the x2n m minus of n at the mode of n. Close bracket. So to calculate this equation, we have to use this table. So to use this table, first we have the first signal of xn, okay, with the n number of with the n number is one two four zero, and we have our hash n is one two zero zero. We write it here, and we have our m number is zero one two three, with the start of the signal zero one two and three. For our m and for our n also is the same we have 0 1 2 3 as well so first we have to find our h 0 minus of n so for this one we have to do the mirror whenever we do the mirror we have to move the second digit to the last digit for the mirroring the signal so we'll get 1 0 0 2 and then we will multiply with our Original, original signal of xn, 1, 2, 4, 0. 1 multiply 1, we get 1. 2 multiply 0, we get 0. 4 multiply 0, we get 0. And 0 multiply 2, we get 0. And we sum it up, we get 1. And repeat it again, h1 minus of n, when we move our 2 to the front, so we will have 2, 1, 0, 0. And we repeat again with the multiplication, 2 multiply 1, we have 2. 2 multiply 1, we have 2 again. 4 multiply 0, we have 0. 0 multiply 0, we have 0. So add up, we will have 4. And we repeat again for the next. We will have move the 0 next. So we have 0, 2, 1, 0. And we multiply again. 1 multiply 0 plus with 2 multiply 2 plus with 4 multiply 1 plus with 0 multiply 0, we get 8. And the last one will be move again the 0 to the front. 0, 0, 2, 1. And we will repeat again. 1 multiply 0. 0, 2 multiply 0, 0, 2 multiply 4, we will 8, and 0 multiply 1, we will get 0. So sum up, we will get 8. So our output of our convolution will be yn equals to 1, 4, 8, 8. Okay, this is in terms of calculations. So now we want to do this thing in MATLAB. So how should it apply in the MATLAB? Okay, to draw in the MATLAB, first, we will have the x input enter the sequence number one, xn. And then we have to write h input enter the sequence number two, hn equal to something. And then we will have the m, big M, is the length of our x. So same as our questions that have been given. So we can see this is our questions. M is the length of our x. And then we have n, small n is our length of h. So the maximum length of these two signals after convolution is big N. So which is 4. So it's a maximum n, comma n. So then this one s will be equal to m minus of n. So which means we will have the equal length of the signal. j equals to 1. Then we will let z equals to a space to fill up. Okay. So we will have if s equal equal to 0. So which means when we have 4 minus of 4, so it's 0. So we start with the calculation of 0. So we will have our h with the zeroing of for 1 until 0. So 1, 0 will be is 0. Okay. And then else, we will have our x is x with 0, 1, comma of minus of 0. So it's 0 as well. 
and then we will have h 0 1 comma s okay let's we run the signal and have a look this signal is the replication let's we run it in at once in order to get the same answer okay first we have write out this code coding this, this part is the moving of the signal which means it's our this part is a moving of one zero zero two and then move again to one zero zero move again zero two one zero move again zero zero two one let's we see our coding so now I will put uh, a breakpoint to check out what happened during in these sections. Okay, first we click run. Okay, now the coding will run to second line. Inputs the segment 1 xn. So from the question we input bracket 1, comma, 2, comma, 4, comma, 0. Close bracket, enter. Now they ask for the second signal hn is bracket one comma two comma zero comma zero bracket enter. This is from the questions. Okay, so the signal will the coding will start run from here. Okay, so we can see our m is the length is four. So this from here we can see our length is four. Okay, for the m is four as well. So for the s is four minus of four we get zero. Okay, for the J, now it's a repeat. Start with the J equals to 1. Okay, Z is a bracket. It's a space for us to fill up the value. Okay, now it, it run our H. If you up the H signal with the zeros, so we will have 1, 2, 0, 0. And the X is, see, our X is 1, 2, 4 zeros. So this H is 1, 2, 0, 0. Okay, then we go to our N. Okay, after N, it will start for uh, four loops. Let's we try. Okay, I click step in. Now it goes to second step four. So now y equals to zero. So we come out y equals to zero. Our output y. Okay, so continue step in. Now we come in to go in. Um, when our i is one, j is one as well. If the j is more or equal than zero, and then it will be n. Okay, then you go to our y. So our y now will become 1. Can you see the changes? Okay, then it's step again. Repeat again. So repeat, repeat, repeat. You see the changes in the workspace. Okay, now it changed our i to now become 3. Okay, move again. Step in again. Okay, now become 3 times 3. 4 times 3. Our, you see here, our i and the j is changing. So you see now, our y come out the value of 1, okay? Then step again, repeat again. Okay, now we found our y is 4, you see? Okay, so if we continue it, that it run everything together. We click continues. So we come out our deck is one, four, continue, we will have eight, eight, you see? The y is changing now is four, sum up. It, it is like a rotation, a rotation of the sum and multiply. Okay, so now we will have four, one, four, this is eight, later on the eight value will come into the deck space. See, the deck, the eight, and another one is eight again. So until, Finish. Okay, after the part of the rotations, the end here, so this one is the four rotations and the end here. So we will start to put the graph, subplot, three, one, one, or the three graph, column one, row one, and we plot the stem graph. Okay, for the title is the signal one, xn. So the x axis is the sample, and y this is the amplitude. And then we also plot the second second graph for the hash n, okay. And we also plot the third graph for the uh, third columns. So it's the correlation outputs with the sample of n and amplitudes. 
So for here, we also have our result. Our output is 1488. And we have the graph here. Okay. The first graph, 1, 2, 4, 0. 1, 2, 0, 0. And 1, 4, 8, 8. So this is our answer. Thank you.